Good morning, sisters. Let's continue studying our lesson. This morning, Tuesday, we are going to study topic number three, the terrible results of panic. Relate the wrongs of David in his flight to Nob. Nob was a city where the tribe of Benjamin lived. The priests, the high priests and their families lived there. And David arrived there and when the high priest saw him, he looked upon him with astonishment as he came in haste and apparently alone with a countenance marked by anxiety and sorrow. And the priest inquired why he was alone, why he came alone. And he said, I came uh, in a secret mission for the king and that's why I, I came alone. He was not saying the truth because he was being persecuted by King Saul. He asked for bread and Ahimelech, the priest, told him, I have just the sacred bread. And he convinced the high priest to give him that bread. Also, he asked for a sword. The high priest told him, I have just the sword of Goliath, the Philistine. And he said, oh, this is the best one. Give me that. So he went away with the bread and with the sword. While he was talking with the high priest, Ahimelech, Doeg, he was Saul's servant. He was there. He professed to be, um, to have the fate of the Hebrews. And he was now paying his vows in the place of worship. And he heard the conversation. So he went away and related this conversation to King Saul. He gave the report to King Saul. And the partial and exaggerated statement of the chief of the herdsmen was suited for the use of the adversary of God and man. It was presented to the mind of Saul in such a light that the king lost all control of himself and acted like a madman. He, see, he said that Ahimelech inquired of the Lord for David he also gave him bread, provision, and the sword of Goliath, the Philistine. Then King Saul said that he sent for the priest Ahimelech, son of Hatub, and all the men of his family who were the priests at Nob. And they came, and when they arrived, King Saul ordered his soldiers to his guards to kill the high priests and the priests and all their families. They didn't want to kill the priests, so King Saul ordered Doeg to kill them. And he did. He did the job and it was a very tragic event for all the... It was very tragic this deed of slaying the priest filled all Israel with oil. It was the king whom they had chosen that had committed this outrage. And it was all because David, he was going through these moments. He was in panic and he was almost losing the Heavenly Father from his sight. And many times, every failure of the part of the children of God is due to their lack of faith. May the Lord help us and pray the Lord. Pray to the Lord that he increase our faith and our trust. And even in moments like this of trials, of persecution, that we can trust in the Lord in his protection and in his guidance. May the Lord help us today and we will continue our studies tomorrow.